Hi, this is Elian again. Welcome to this second video where we're going to talk about how to use loops and lists uh, in your templates and also how to use conditions uh, in your templates with the docx to pdf API and plugin. So <coughs> we're going to start with the template and it's the same template as the first video. So uh, if you haven't seen it, I really uh, recommend you to, to first uh, go and have a look at the first video and then uh, look, watch this one because uh, this is just a continuation of, of the first video. Uh, so we start over with the same template and uh, let's say we have um, stores and uh, this is an invoice and let's say that uh, somewhere in the invoice we want to add the list of uh, stores that we have um, so for that we're gonna have to use a, a loop uh, so let's add our st our stores and here we're gonna create a loop using specific tags so um, to open a loop we create a tag using the hashtag um, and let's call this list store list and to close the list we're going to use a slash so um, the api will know when seeing this kind of tags that it's a list that's going to be uh, between those two tags and we can add let's say bullet points and let's say um, that we want to add here all the list of the stores that we have in our um, in our brand in our chain so um, we need to be very precise on the tag names um, because they have to reflect the data types from your database so let's go to the app in the database i've created a data type named stores and uh, in this data type i have two fields one field is named city and one field is named opened which is the supposed opening date of uh, those stores so we have stores in singapore and chicago and in paris and these are the opening dates uh, what's very important when you're going to use this feature of docx to pdf is that you have to use um, lowercase letters for your field names and you have to use exactly the same uh, names here in the fields and here in the template so let's say we want to have the list of our stores so we take this field city from the database because we're gonna do a search in this in this um, uh, data type and and get those data so we're going to use the city and the opening date opened uh, let's add some text opened in and opened is also the name of the of the variable which is exactly the same it has to be exactly the same and it has to be in lowercase uh, as this field in this stores data type okay so now um, we have created um, the, the the template for a list and uh, let's at the same time create also a template for uh, modify our template to add conditions so let's say that we have a price here and that uh, um, some customers may have um, a discount. Um, so for this discount, we're going to add a condition and conditions have the same tags as loops, except that there's going to be only one value. So the API is going to know that it's not a loop, but it's a condition. So if I create the condition um, has discount, this is going to be a yes, a yes or no condition. Same as before, we just finish 
the condition with a, with a, a slash. And in between, we can add some text like uh, you are entitled to a, here we're gonna have a variable, mm, percentage discount, let's say. Here we add percent. Discount in all our stores. Okay, so now we have here a loop template and here a conditions template. So this this one is going to loop around a series of variables, and this one is going to show to appear if the has discount condition is uh, fulfilled and will not appear if the has discount condition is, is not validated. So let's save this template and let's go back to the app in order to adjust our, our plugin setup. Um, so I have made a few changes on uh, um, the form that we used in the first video. I've added uh, here a toggle um, which we will use um, to, um, to say if the client is entitled to a discount or, or not. And I've also added um, an input field uh, where we can uh, add the uh, discount percentage. So now let's go to the workflow. We're going to have to change a little bit um, the way we call the, the API with the plugin. So um, we're going to have to add here one substitution tag, which is Here, the percentage discount price. And this is going to be this new field input discount percentage value. And then we, we keep the logo, the image substitution. And we're going to have to add here a loop. So remember, the loop is about the store list. In order to add this loop, we're going to have to add one step to the workflow. And this step is, let's insert an action. The step is create a JSON because the, the loop, so the table that we're going to create, is going to be a list. And this list will be sent to the API in the form of a JSON file. In order to create this JSON, we have to give the data type. So remember, the data type I showed you is stores. And the list of items that we're going to use in, in this data type, uh, so it's basically the, the, the data that we want to display in our document. So we're going to do a search. We're going to make it very simple, do a search for stores without any constraint. So we're going to take all the stores. So with this, it's going to create a JSON file with those two fields. And this JSON file, we can use it to fill out the template. So we're going to go to the loops section and we're going to add a loop. The name of the loop is the one we have put here. So it's this tag, store list. And the store list is uh, simply the result of step one, which is the JSON file. For so with this, we're gonna see here the whole list created uh, in the document. So that's how you, you customize loops. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to 
also create a condition. Remember, we had this has discount condition. So let's copy this and create a condition. And the yes, no will be given by the toggle that we've added. So if the toggle is checked, it's going to be yes. If it's unchecked, it's going to be no. And that's it. So we have a loop. We're going to have the list of stores and we have a condition. So this paragraph is going to display uh, if the condition is met and it will not display if the condition is not met. Okay, looks good. So let's let's run it. We're going to upload the template. Add a company. Price, this time it's 2000. Logo, let's take the same. We want, we're going to keep the discount for this try and let's say this client has 30% discount and let's run it and see how it goes and there it is so the process has run let's have a look at the result file and as you can see the uh, list of stores has appeared so this is the list of data from our uh, data type stores and we see the text here uh, about the discount so let's try it again but this time without discount let's see if the condition is uh, properly applied Okay, and you see in this time, as we have unchecked the toggle for the condition, the text about the discount has disappeared. This one is gone. So that's it. Um, now you know how you can create conditions and loops with docx to pdf one special point of attention is that you might run into problems uh, because of the privacy rules um, especially if you work um, without login um, just like i've done on, on a brand new application so make sure that uh, whenever uh, you run the, this um, plugin in a new app uh, make sure that you have the, the, the access, the, the, the privacy rules are um, correctly set so that you can access uh, the data and especially find the data in search. So if you are not logged in, this condition might not work. So you should uh, add a condition for everyone else to find data in searches as long as you don't have a proper login uh, setup in, in your app. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, the next video will be about uh, loops in tables. Thank you. Bye-bye.